Hey there guys, Wimick here and today I'm back with another HD tutorial of Paint.net and in this tutorial today I'm going to be showing you how to use the gradient tool um, a bit more in depth and s some stuff you can do with it I'm still not the best at Paint.net so I won't be able to show you how to do everything but um, yeah, should be able to show you how to do most things at least so oh, sorry I was in um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this and uh, I'll just do. I'll just open up a new page here. Remember, my favorite is 800 by 600. So yeah, gradient tool. Yeah, it's very easy. You just go boom. That's 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 how you that's how you use it and make it sound look cool. So um, it goes from primary to secondary. From from your mouse click is a the primary. Then when you drag, it fades into the secondary. So there you go. See, mine went from black to white. If I change my primary, it will change the color. If I change my secondary it will change the color so there you go I just want us to go back back to back of my okay so um, I don't need to talk about green anymore so as you can see up here there's different ones so the linear one is the one that does this the uh, linear reflect it does that but it goes both ways so when you drag out it it drags out both the same way so uh, you make something like that or um, yeah so on this one, it's uh, it kind of radiates out from like a diamond kind of shape. So um, if you want to make something cool with that, you could. Uh, I suppose you can make something cool with that if, if you're artistic enough. Look at that. Looks like a kind of corridor going down the way. And you could put like slender or shiny standing there if you want to. Just a just a just a thought. So um, that's that one, and then this circle one is it just radiates out from a circle uh, all these also change color when you change your colors and um, this one it's, uh, it's a bit tricky to use but um, that's really what that one does it kind of points points in a direction kind of you can make like a compass if you want to look with that um, if you were good enough I am not good enough <laughs> so I'm not even going to try it so that's how, you, that's how you use that aspect of the gradient tool. Now, um, what I want to show you is layering with the gradient tool. So I'm just going to make myself a plain black, black background, just there, uh, just so I can have it. So uh, I'm going to use the, I think I'll go for linear reflect, and uh, we'll make like that, and then we'll get a new layer. Then we'll use the same tool but in the opposite direction. I don't know if you can see where I'm going with this. And then, um, I can't remember for life of me which one it is. Is it darken? Yeah. So if you hit darken, this is what it does. It kind of uh, gives you kind of like the Union Jack. Because it's got like that through there. It's got the England Cross going through there. And the Scottish Cross going through there. The bits in different colours. I suppose you could... You can make it close to the closer to the Union Jack if you change the colours about and uh, mess about with that, but I'm not going to. So then, once you've done something cool with like a couple of layered gradients, um, you can merge them together. You've got gradients, um, <coughs> sorry guys, gradients uh, seem to merge together pretty well. They don't seem to break too much. They they could. I'm not saying they won't, but they could. It could do that but they don't seem to so um if, if you want another little gradient thing you could say you could go like that but you could change the color if you if you want say blue whoa trippy and red wrong wrong way wrong, wrong, wrong red yeah yeah but the wrong way i want this one blue and this one red that's the way I, that's the way i would prefer it so um if i was going to do that and then if i did darken See what I mean, guys? You can you can make some really cool stuff with this. Um, that was not intentional. So I mean, sometimes things just fall together and they look alright, and uh, it doesn't look the best. You can change it about and stuff if you want to. Like um, you go like this and stuff. If you want to start in the middle and then radiate it out. Ah, oh, well that looks pretty freaking cool, actually. So yeah. Um, you can mess about with that and uh, also merge together. Didn't break. Merge it with the background if you wish to. If you make, if you want to make this your background, then uh, put some put some text on it. You 
you could very well do that. So uh, that's a bit of in-depth tutorial on the gradient tool. If I find out any other cool things which you can do with it, um, uh, well, if I find out enough cool things, I'll put um, a tutorial out on it. Or if I don't, I will link videos and uh, stuff which I find out from if, if mine wouldn't be long enough. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. hope it's helped you out with um, a bit more about what the gradient tool can do. Don't forget that these little things are up here. And it's uh, all that. So don't forget that that's up there. And remember to hit the like button. Become a player today. And uh, make me a very happy person. So, um, yeah. Till next time, guys. Bye.